Hey guys, it's Haley. It's Taylor. And today we are going to be doing a holder DIY out of like old mason jars and recycled Sprite cans or pop cans. So let's get started. Okay, so for this you will need spider web. You, this is not needed, but this is your optional. choice. It's optional. You will need paint. This is needed. Um, glitter, that's optional. A candle light is optional. Paint brushes, sharpies, anything. And you will need mason jars. And, and a sprite can or an, or pop can. And There's other, other optional lights you guys can use. Yeah. So. And you will also need a glass of water. Okay. Okay, okay, so guys. since you guys all, since you have all your supplies, let's get started. So I'm gonna take my first jar. This is a small mason jar. Um, and I'm going to take the color I paint I want. Mine's, my first is going to be just, um, I'm gonna do like a pink for breast cancer and I'll show you guys what to do later. So I'm just gonna open this and start painting while she talks to you. Okay, so. I am going to be doing one later too, and mine's going to be the color of my room. Like I'm gonna make one for like all my makeup stuff, and it's the color is Ocean Breeze, and I'm going to take the this one. This isn't actually a mason jar. This is a pickle jar, but we just washed it out and tore the ceiling off, and we're gonna do that. So, um, we're gonna get start painting. No, gotcha. So I'm gonna take my paint on my brush and just paint that. So we'll be back. Okay guys, so once you've got your first coat on, you're going to want to let that dry and you're going to do as many coats as you want. Depends if you want to see the light out of it, so that would be a pretty thin to medium coat. Or if you want to see a little bit of light out of it, but not a lot, you would just want more design on it. Um, that would be a pretty medium to heavy coat of paint so that'd be about four um three or four layers of paint i'm just going to do two or three so i'll be back when well we'll be back when we did that and that's all dry hey guys so once you're done with painting your jar um if you see like any spots that you messed up on just take a tiny brush and just dip it in your paint and just kind of go over those spots you want to dab then swipe or whatever because you like will get more streaks if you do so that. that's why i'm also taking this little spongy type brush and i'm dipping it in my paint to get more coverage and then i'm gonna go over it again and just kind of smooth it out because this kind of dabs a little bit more water onto it so yeah okay yay Okay, so if you do not have a mason jar, you can also use a pop can. And so again, you're just going to take any color. By the way, choice. we're doing this as we're letting these dry. So, so what I'm going to take, I'm going to do um, our colors, my our school colors, whatever, and it's orange and black. Or you could just do orange and black for Halloween. But one thing, make sure, this is chalkboard paint. We just thought it was black, but it's really chalkboard paint. So I mean, you could have chalkboard and play chalkboard paint if that's what you wanted but I would just recommend black but we're gonna use chalkboard paint for this so um, I don't know is there any special instructions for chalkboard paint no you just paint it on like regular acrylic but, uh, but you don't want to mix it with water that's the only thing like some acrylic paint you would mix with water don't mix this one with water okay so I'm gonna do a base orange My base is gonna be orange, and um, yeah. So you're just gonna put some orange out and get started. Okay, so basically you're just gonna do it like you did your mason jar. You're gonna get some paint, you're gonna take it, and you're just gonna do this kind of paint. Um, you probably will have to put a couple coats on this, because by that, um, you probably want to start out with a darker coat. It's probably going to take a while for me to do this. But you could always switch it up during the middle. But anyway, so yeah. 
So you just want to do that, and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so once you, your mason jar is oh dry, God. you can decorate it however you want. I'm so I'm just going to take the chalkboard paint, which I'm just going to use it as black, and a dotted brush, I guess, and put a little bit on and just put polka dots all over mine. Because I was in that mood to do the polka dots. So that's what I'm going to do. So you're just going to dip it in there and then take your mason jar and just kind of make polka dots all over the jar. Now the, your polka dots do not have to be perfect, but I have a little ADHD, so mine have to be at least fully covered. Um, and yeah. So you're just gonna cover them um, basically around the whole jar and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I got my polka dots. I missed the polka dot right there, but I got all my polka dots on my jar and I'm pretty happy with what it looks like. So there's one way to make your mason jar. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so mine is done drying. There it is, it's just plain pink right now. So now I'm going to take, just do the black. I either have, I'm going to do like a black and then I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna go back over it and sparkle, but right now I am going to take my black, put it on my tray, and I'm gonna paint a little so just like that goes on the breast cancer sign. I know it's in black, it's kind of weird, you know. That's how I do. So, I really hope I don't mess up this. So, first, I'm gonna draw it on there. So, you just wanna take your Sharpie, and I'm drawing. So, there's my little sign right there so I'm gonna paint that and I'll be back when it's all dry there's the finished product guys um, yeah there's my breast cancer one I really like it I'm gonna put some more chalkboard paint at the bottom and write um, BCA and for breast cancer awareness and there's Taylor's her teal polka dot jar so Bye guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you recreate these, we'll put the hashtag and our YouTube Instagram in the link in the description box below. And don't forget to comment and like. Um, comment future videos you want to see. And bye. Bye.